I think, I think, I think I have figured out how to make sea moss gummies. Okay. <laughs> like sour pineapple juice <laughs> these are definitely a win for me I would eat these I believe my son will eat these too but we'll wait for him to come home to see what he thinks win for me hey guys it's Kylie Kanzader and I'm here to inspire you along your health journey and today I'm gonna be trying attempting to make some sea moss gummies. I actually tried to make these at least three times already and it was an epic fail. But every single time they got better. So I'm thinking this time it's gonna be absolutely great. I am gonna be trying to make them with vegetarian gel or gelatin. Um, and I think it'll work. Before I was using just regular gelatin and. The consistency was fine, but I just needed to make sure. I gotta try this. So we are using some agar agar. I hope I'm saying that right. The gelatin powder. And we're gonna be using some sea moss gel. I got a little coconut oil here and I got a little honey here. So let's go ahead and try this out. And let me just say, we know that we have gotten it right if my son eats them. So Clay will tell me if they're good or not. I mean, you know me, I'll tell you if it's good or not, but if a toddler will eat it, y'all were winning. We're gonna go ahead and make these. And then when he gets home, I'm gonna let him try them. And if he eats them and he likes them, y'all know it's a win. You know, you already know. We don't have to question it if Clay comes in here and eats them because he loves gummies and he loves sweets like me and he already knows that I'm trying to pump it with some good stuff. I'm just saying. It's really all about the juice. So here I have some Tropicana orange juice, but this is actually half Tropicana and half pineapple juice. I actually pour fresh pineapple juice into the orange juice, um, which I love. Clay loves orange juice. So I'm thinking that this will give it the flavor that it needs. And secret weapon, pow pow. I have some citric acid here. So citric acid is what you use to make sour gummies. So I'm thinking, y'all, we got the right combination here to make this happen. So we're gonna try and see what happens. All right, all right, we got this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually strain some sea moss just so we have that prepped and ready to go. I have my cheesecloth here. So I am going to use a couple of big tablespoons of sea moss in this. See that? Now that is squeezing out, honey. It literally squeezed it all out. Okay. So we're doing one cup of juice. So one cup of our orange slash pineapple juice that we have here. That smells so good. Okay. If you're wondering where to get this, I actually got mine off of Amazon. I did not find this in my local grocer, but it doesn't mean that it won't be at yours. So you might want to check. Okay. We're gonna give that a good stir. Just to break down all the goodness on the inside. Just wanna make sure it's dissolved. And then we'll put it on the stove. And I feel a little bit of the gelatin in there. Bubbling, we're gonna go ahead and stir in our sweetener. We're adding some honey. Thank you. 
sea moss. We're gonna add a little bit at a time because I don't want it to overpower anything. to form a gelatin like kind of stickiness and I don't want it to stick I want to make sure all the sea moss kind of gets dissolved in there okay we're gonna let that come to a boil wait a minute let it bubble up and then we'll add in all of our other goodness and for our molds I have the this gummy mold I believe I got this from, yeah, I got this from Michaels, but I have a couple gummy molds. I have some tiny ones that I got off of Amazon that actually came with a little thing in my bot bot. And then I have these. I actually bought this from Michaels as well. So you can find them locally or on Amazon. I'll leave a link to the ones I have down below. All right, y'all, so we have our mix here. And how I knew our gelatin was ready is because if you can see on here, it's already kind of forming to gel. Y'all, we about to have some gummies. So I made an executive decision just to go ahead and add citric acid to the entire, oh my gosh, y'all, this about to be so good. Add citric acid to the entire mix. So I've already tasted them. Like, they taste really good, so hopefully the form comes out just perfect. So I'm spraying our gummy sheet with coconut oil cooking spray only because I don't want them to stay in there. I just want them to form in there. And I'm using the little dropper that came with the gummy kit that I bought off of Amazon. But if you already have maybe, if you have kids, you got one of these. <laughs> it's just saying. So you don't necessarily need to buy it with your kit. Um, but if you need one, if you need a dropper, they are on Amazon. I think these are gonna turn out so amazing. And the reason why I'm moving kind of fast is because I don't want this this too cool on me. Um, like as you guys saw with the spoon or with our our mixer, it's already forming. The gel is already forming, so we know that this is a good mix. The issues that I had before when I was making this is that it was such a liquidy consistency even when it was done kind of cooling. So I am so hopeful that these are about to be gone. These are about to be bomb. And the taste, <laughs> y'all the taste is good. So we just need now the form to come out. Looks like we are going to have enough for another mold, which is awesome. And then we're going to, once we actually finish our molds, we'll put this in the refrigerator. Y'all, we still have enough for another mold and it's already forming because it's 
cooling down. So let me hurry up and put another mold on here. All right guys, so we have a little bit more left as you can see, but we have three molds here. So let's go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and let it cool. So as we wait to see what that consistency looks like, we're gonna let that refrigerate for about an hour, maybe less. Realistically, it shouldn't take that long for it to become gelatin. We're just wanted it, basically we're just letting it cool to its form. So. While that's happening, we about to get us a nice glass of lemonade, honey, and wait for that to come out. And of course, I made some sea moss lemonade. If you did not see that video, go back and watch it. All right, so pour me a nice little glass of sea moss lemonade. All right, y'all, we made some gummies. Now we're just gonna wait to see what they taste like. And yeah, some of the mistakes that I've made so far. So one, make sure your sea moss gel is super, super fine. Then run it through your cheesecloth. And you know it's super fine because it should come directly through your cheesecloth without any issues. Two, taste is everything. So you wanna make sure that you are combining it with a juice or a flavor that you like. So for this one, I did pineapple slash orange juice because we absolutely love pineapple slash orange juice. Maybe use cranberry juice or something like that. Definitely want something with flavor. Made that mistake last time and those things tasted just like sea moss. When you're forming your gel, as you're mixing in your sea moss, it should start to form into that gummy kind of texture on your spoon or your spatula or whatever you're using to mix your gummy mix with if it's not turning into that consistency your ratios are off honey we got to fix the ratios so you might want to add a little bit more of the gelatin powder in there just to get the consistency right because it's not just going to form into a gummy in the refrigerator it just starts to form on your spoon like i showed you guys before this round i know the taste is right because i tasted it on the stove i know the taste is right um, I didn't show you guys, but I did add a little citric acid in it because I love some sour gummies. Um, I didn't really measure it out. I only use a little bit, maybe like a teaspoon of citric acid into the mix. Um, so if you're wondering how much citric acid I use, that's how much I use. And I'll leave it on the recipe down below and on the blog. Yeah, so I know the flavor is right. Now we just need to make sure that the consistency is right. And that is what we're waiting for right now. All right, I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, we are back to check and see if our gummies are good or not. Okay, so here is our tray of gummies and they are nice and hard. They're ready to try out. Which one do y'all wanna try first? Mini gummy, big gummy, or big gummy gummy? Let's go for this. So she pops right out, look at her. She's jiggly. <laughs> okay, so clearly our consistency isn't like all the way, all the way there. But the taste is. Okay, so this is the first time that I use citric acid in these, and it goes perfectly with the orange juice and the pineapple juice. I can actually taste the pineapple juice, so I'm excited about that. So yeah, they actually come to form. So they're to form, y'all. Like They actually look like gummies. They're a little smushy in the mouth. They definitely don't taste like store gummies. They have like a melting your mouth kind of sensation. So it's not all the way there. They taste delicious. I'm never gonna make it without citric acid, acid again. Like the citric acid brings it up just a notch. Mm. Those are a win. 
actually I like these I like these a lot <laughs> All right, y'all, I think that this was a win-ish. They're not like perfect gummies. But they're getting there. So, next time I try this, I'll probably just use the sea moss water because I think the graininess is actually coming from the actual sea moss. But, if you don't dislike that kind of grainy texture, child, we gonna win. Like they have the grainy texture of sea moss, but they taste nothing like sea moss. They taste like sour pineapple juice. <laughs> these are definitely a win for me. I would eat these. I believe my son will eat these too, but we'll wait for him to come home to see what he thinks. Win for me. They look so good. Yeah. Hey, Big Bear. We did that. We got some gummies, y'all. We got some gummies. You gonna taste a gummy? No. Taste one. Oh, look, they're bears. Healthy your way, and I'll see you next video. Peace.